Yeah. So, doctor, this is uh, we are talking about your books now. Yeah. In search of science. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Intro by Dr. Kiran Butkule, yeah. which you appreciate very much. Yeah. What is the book about? The book is about my village Kalangul. Hmm. It's a simple description of the village. Not a profile, uh, as such. You can't call it a profile. Uh, I I don't know exactly where it is a profile. Okay. But. Uh, some people in the central library told me it serves as a sociological book because it brings fishing style, cooking style, everything there is included. Which year? It's a uh, 80. 84, 85? 84, 85. After that comes what? User's dreams? Jesus Dreams is almost last. Almost last. Yeah. Fiction? It's a fiction. And Jesus, uh, I came to know now yeah. that there is a religion. Jesus that really exists? Really exists. Okay. And it belongs practically to the same family Local. that I mentioned. So who is Jesus? No, for that, for my, Jesus was supposed to be the person who was supposed to have inherited the. Uh, the, this thing from the Portuguese, the old man who conquered the Portuguese and then, no, he, he didn't conquer. Okay. The Portuguese gave him a piece of land. Okay. And he was known as Krishna or something. Then he begins. Jose. Jose, etc. Jose is my fictitious name. Okay. So it's a novel again set in Kalangut, again set in coastal Goa or where? It's no. Coastal Goa. Okay. okay. Then, yes, Minister Ji. There was a following practical document. Did he? Does he know? Is it flattering? Uh, Did he know? I don't know. Is it flattering? He uh, followed at least three ministers. Okay, so he was he was our he was our constituency MLA, which Kalangut was Salinga was part no, of Kalangut. No, during sometimes they. The minister changes to the position of chief minister. Yeah. It's constant, not constant. Yeah. So I keep on changing. Okay. As the convenience of my writing. So is this a, it's, it's, it's a kind of a uh, drama? Yeah. Yeah, it's a kind of a, what Play. happened, you know, something happened to the secretary. Yeah. And I put it very funnily. Yeah. Humorously. Yeah. And I pen down those pages. Sometimes uh, it's uh, far from reality, sometimes it is close, close to reality. reality. So you have to guess which is what. Yeah. Very uh, interesting. Uh, discovering. That's the discovery. Uh, that uh, book on. Your travels. It's yeah. your travelogue to Portugal and yeah. France. Yeah. Portugal and France. Yeah, Portugal and France. And then we went to the Torino. I had a big trip at all, you know. I'll sit down and talk. I see. It was my first. Journey, yeah, and he was ready to spend some time around. Olivino had traveled a lot, I think, no? Yeah, and he knew a lot also about uh, this as well as uh, how to get scholarships. That yeah. also he knew. He contributed a lot. He was yeah. very yeah. underrated yeah. in that sense. I mean, people, you know, uh, in we in Goa have this thing where we look down on our own. No, yeah. Yeah. if you're from Goa, they won't take you so seriously. If you're from some other state. Yeah, yeah. They will assume that you must be you must be good, you know. Mm. Of course, as we were talking, this is the original Angela's Goan identity. Yeah. Uh, in its very modest shape. People think it's a simple book because it's printed very unpretentiously. Okay? Yeah. And uh, this is the newer version of Angela's Goan identity, reprinted by Cinnamon Teal recently, no? Yeah. Nicely done. And uh, then, this is discovery, discovery. Is this related to the earlier book? Yeah. Portugal in search of identity and discovery. No, no, no. No, no they this, are not. They are not. This is totally on the imagination that I built. Okay. Later, okay. my second visit to Portugal, where okay. I. Reinforce certain ideas that they were not like that, and then I made a mystery type of. Poem. I see. You are a very untypical Goan because you wrote you wrote 
whatever you had to say. Most Goans don't reduce it to writing. Yeah. Goans through the eyes of Fanchu Loyola. Yeah. Goa through the eyes of Fanchu Loyola. Yeah. This is because of the Lino Day town. Yeah. And uh, Ayuna. They are from Chinchini. They are from Chinchini. Yeah. And basically she came over yeah. asking me to translate those pages. She gave me a lot of pages. I see. Magazine. But then I failed to translate them. You made it into a book? No. Yeah. I think Lino told me, let's make it into a book. I see. Yeah. Nice. From Lino, we passed it to Father Charles. Yeah. And finally, it came through the hand of Father Charles. I see. Yeah, it's the same book. I see. Yeah, I remember. I remember the release and all. It looks like just yesterday, you know, time flies. Prime Minister of India. This was, was just written during the time of the controversy, you know. Which controversy? About who should appoint a Prime Minister, what should be the problems about Gujral's it. time or when? Vajpayee's yeah. time? 98? Vajpayee? Vajpayee. Vajpayee. And then the legal system of Goa? Yeah. That was original thesis. Thesis. Interesting. Of course, I have all your books in my collection. So, yeah. but so nice. And of course, we are o overlooking this one. Indian, Indian and Portuguese constitutions. Yes. And uh, this book I wanted because I wanted to bring the differences. I see between the Indian and the Portuguese constitution. Okay. Which are there and hardly known by anybody. Anything else that I should have asked that you wanted to say? No idea. <laughs> but we are really grateful for you know all the writings that you have shared. And this is our legacy, I think, which you leave for everyone. It's so important. I wish more people would be like you and think of uh, writing. Maybe one last question, uh, you know. As far as getting your books published are concerned, yes. you self-publish a lot of them? No. Okay. I have an office. Yeah. Books uh -huh. are stored there. Okay. I have a, a day at the top this year. Books are stored there. If you come to my office, still the books I are see. stored. I see. Sometimes I think of making an exhibition or something there, but then I give up. It is a little bit difficult because in Goa, apart from in the 20th century, of course, there were publishers like uh, Typography, Rangel and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But otherwise, everyone had to depend on themselves or find a, find a publisher somewhere else yeah, in yeah. other parts. Yeah. So, do you feel that, uh, you know, the there is a correlation between creativity and the chance of publishing your work? Do you feel there is a link between these two issues? There could be. Supposing because I am not too sure of the creativity of my book. No, 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 no. I'm yeah, of course. See, because you have done it yourself, there is no, there is no test. Yeah. But on the other hand, if if you were sitting in Bombay or Delhi or a bigger publishing center and there were many more outlets, then probably you would have written more also, no? Yeah, yeah, probably. It's true. Thank you, doctor, so much for all your time and uh, your patience. I know. Uh, you know, it, it's uh, I've taken a lot of your time and I'm really grateful. Of course, more than that, I'm grateful for all the work that uh, you have put into your books and shared with all of us. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.